<laughs> okay, so welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching us, Annie and Zamel. And we are moving on to our topic, talking about changing our habits. Which is a very difficult thing to do because yeah. it just is who you are. And if you want to change your habit to become somebody different and you want to do something better for yourself, you might want to listen into what Irfan has to offer us today. And he's talking about literally changing habits. Let's welcome Irfan Kairi in the studios. Good morning. Morning. Hi, yeah. how are you? Any, I'm doing great. You know, I, whenever you come into the studios, I have to say, I admire that red watch of yours. <laughs> it must be red. <laughs> it goes with my car. <laughs> yeah, and his car too, which is parked outside. That's right. Never miss. <laughs> much, bigger than, much bigger than mine. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, so let's talk about changing our habits. When we would say that, you know, uh, we want to change our habits, what mm. are the ways that we can change uh, if we want to achieve something? Okay, the, th uh, I mean, I mean, the thing is, with our, um, it is said that even the most powerful computer, the most advanced computer, cannot compete with a human brain however mm. we don't know uh, when, when we were born we weren't given uh, like an instruction manual how to use our brain yeah. thing is to change to change our habit it's not that difficult actually it is quite simple and uh, the basis of it is like uh, tricking your brain into making the change uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, one of the ways of doing it is actually to to visualize visualize what what you want to make? Uh, what the, what is the change that you wanted to make? All right. For example, if you uh, want to start smoking, visualize that you're a non-smoker. <laughs> and if you like to, <laughs> big hint to if that. you want if you want a new car, visualize the car. And this this one trick that that um, uh, that I learned about visualization is that uh, you need to frequently vi mm -hmm. visualize what you want wanted to do. Yeah. Okay? the frequency uh, plays an important role. The more frequent that, uh, the more frequent that you think about it, the the more emotional you get, and th that emotion will drive you to make that change, to make that habit change. And then the another thing is that in, uh, whatever you visualize must be vivid. It must be so clear. It must be crystal clear. So if you want a car, uh, if you want a new car, I mean you need to know what type of car, what color do you want, how the, how does the interior looks like, how does the exterior looks like, and how is it feeling you uh, driving the car? Visualization. So must be visualization must yeah. be vivid. In, uh, Intensity plays a role. Intensity, the sense of um, creating that emotion. Okay, the more the more vivid that you uh, you picture. Uh, what you wanted mm -hmm. and then the more emotion that you can put into yourself <coughs> that too will change your habit and finally the duration the duration means that the longer you can put that picture that visualization in your mind the better it is for you uh, to actually make that first change make that initial change road to success is not easy road not to easy. visualization is not easy either <laughs> because somewhere along the lines you know something pops up and just sort of burst the bubble uh, but a lot of people walk around completely convinced that they can achieve it and a lot of times they say yes yes I can yes yes I can I can do this I could do this and I think a lot of you would have associate yourself with this yes. I, I do it myself <laughs> yeah you I know do. I, does I do, this I, really I, work I do it myself too uh, what, what we call uh, when we say uh, yes I can yes I can it's called affirmation mm -hmm. and there's two types of uh, affirmation one the first affirmation is that when you you don't really ver uh, verbalize it when you uh, when you say it in the, just in your mind yep. just say in your heart that you can do it you can do it and it's very important when uh, when we uh, when we see uh, um, so many times because at, uh, at, the, uh, at the end when you say enough time you will convince yourself that you can actually do it you can mm. actually make it and about um, about um, uh, affirmation is that, that uh, it must be in the present tense okay right uh, that's how to make it work present tense, like yes I can it's like doing it now it's not like yes I will do it okay <laughs> For, <laughs> and then, or, or example like if you want to quit smoking this is a good example if you want to quit smoking you don't say like I will quit smoking uh, I will quit smoking but you uh, you um, aff affirm in yourself that I am a non-smoker. I am a non-smoker. Ah. Some, something which is now, something which is in present, something which is personal, which will which will boost your emotion, and um, do it uh, man, uh, so many times. It will convince yourself. I am yourself. thin. I am thin. I am thin. I am thin. I am thin. Keep working I'm thin, on it. I'm thinner than any. I'm thinner. <laughs> I'm thinner than any. It will work. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm as thin as Ifan Khairi. Thin as Ifan Khairi. Well, some people have. And uh, <laughs> what, what, what you just did this now is like verbal. verbal Verbalizing it, and yes. that too will help because when you share it to people, when you share it to all the yeah. viewers, I had on to it, put a bit of more pressure share to, it make it, to make it to make change. Yeah, <laughs> well, let me know you have to do it. You yeah, mentioned to everybody. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Visualization. It will happen. It will happen. <laughs> no, you should. Yeah. You have to say it can happen. But like what Annie had said earlier, you know, some some uh, along the line when uh, we, when you are focusing on that goal, uh, something else will happen and uh, it will just delay 
your your goal. Yeah, you're yeah, you get thrown it. off somewhere. Yeah. And then and then at the same time, uh, you will say you keep wishing for it to happen, and then you will tend to procrastinate. So, what are the ways for you to try to? Weave out of that situation. Okay. I just, uh, and just ju still maintain that goal. Uh, ju just now, we we just discussed something more personal, something more or what we call it subconscious. Mm. Mean, uh, by uh, by well, like I mentioned, like by by imagination, by by picturing things, it's not that things will come to us magically, yep. but uh, the, uh, we will be able to see the opportunity um, much more better. And um, another way to do it is actually to actually actually act like. What you want is already happened. Like act like if you're driving a small car. I mean, act like you're driving a big car. If you want to be more uh, more professional, act like you are professional. I mean, um, the way you talk, the way you walk. I mean, uh, it will actually change yourself. For example, emotion. I mean, it's difficult to control our emotion. It is very difficult to control our emotion, but it's not difficult to control our action. We can, uh, no matter how uh, our emotion is, we can actually control our our action. And actually, by controlling our action, but it will. Actually, change eventually change our emotion and eventually change our habit. So that's one uh, this this one uh, one term. Fake it until you make it. I think that's something that uh, that we can do. Something <laughs> that we can try. Exactly. Yeah. I will always <laughs> fake it that you know when I drive my Proton that I'm actually driving my red Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, you do that and I'll imagine I'm in my Passat. <laughs> So we both have the fake it until we make it. <laughs> fake All right, it now make when it. we talk about um, you know physically doing stuff, mm -hmm. mentally doing stuff, it's thinking and then acting it out. Um, what about us, our, our environment, the, the the areas that we are in, the environment that influences our day to day life? Yeah, environment plays yeah. a very important role. I mean, there's this one term. What, uh, what, uh, if you want to fly with the eagles, you shouldn't flock with the turkeys, something like that. <laughs> I mean, like we need to be around uh, successful people. Do yeah. people that uh, are, are Already changed what we want. It doesn't mean success. I mean, like if you want to uh, be a good investment, mm -hmm. be around people who are, who are already in investing. That yeah. will actually help us. And sometimes when we mention that visualization, for some people it's difficult to visualize. For yeah. for myself, being an artistic person, it's easier for me to visualize. Mm -hmm. But then, what you can do is put pictures. I mean, like put pictures of the new car yep. uh, around your house, in, in the car, on on your on your on your iPad, on your laptop. <laughs> I mean, uh, the more they can see it, the more you can, you can visualize it, and that too. We actually help find find all the ways that can help. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you want a new car, then why not just try and test drive that new car? Get a brochure, start somewhere, start uh, do something, and that will actually help uh, change your habit rather than waiting and waiting mm -hmm. until the last minute. So, then so get the car do. even if it's on a brochure. <laughs> get the it, car, yeah. Touch it, feel it, you know. <laughs> touch the car. Touch the, the car. <laughs> yeah. And then get the brochure. Yeah. <laughs> and since we plan to become millionaires, we have to start hanging around with uh, your friend more yeah. often. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. hang out with him more. <laughs> I have to stay a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> now, Irfan, could, could, we, could you maybe share a little bit about you know um, your habits? What, what, where did you start? Okay. Or when did you start changing? Uh, I I start changing my habits actually. I, I I started reading about psychology of success since I was 18, and since I was mm. 18, I wanted to be a successful person. <laughs> I want to learn already. You learn. Okay, it's not too late. <laughs> no, it's not too late. I mean, and for uh, at 18, already I uh, wanted to be a millionaire before the age of 30. So I've been reading a lot of books. I've been hanging out with a lot of successful people when uh, since um, in, in my 20s, mm -hmm. yep. and that too helped me a lot. And when one way which I actually like doing is actually teaching people. When we actually understand one concept uh, and teach somebody about it, we actually learn more about right. it. So when when I teach, uh, when I do my classes, I do my seminars, I do my workshop. Like today, uh, I'll be going off to Johor after this, mm -hmm. uh, under Mara. Mm -hmm. And when I teach, uh, I get the pleasure that knowing that I understand the concept more, and mm. that actually changes my habit more. So anything that you learn, try teaching it to your family, try teaching it to your friends. I mean, so even impart the yeah, impart the knowledge, even if you're not hundred percent. Um, uh, uh, know everything, but mm -hmm. just sharing 10-20% of it, it is giving you 10-20% more. And doing it 10 times, that's 100% over there. Well, mm. the the saying goes that we are our worst enemy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we are our worst enemy. You because don't it's all usually. Yeah, and you don't even mind. have to have an enemy as a friend uh, exactly. because you you yourself have the habit yes. of stopping yourself from doing certain things, no matter how talented you are, how 
uh, how much you know God has given you uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the talent um, somehow along the line we tend to stop ourselves mm -hmm. um, how do we stop doing that yes. I mean how do we how do we recognize who that's, we are that's a very good point because when you say that we are our worst enemy I mean uh, it's not enough that uh, when we want to achieve success uh, people might be talking about this we be uh, talking bad thing about this I mean but the worst is actually when we talk bad about ourselves we, we sabotage ourselves in mm. our mind saying that we can't do this I mean we can't do that and everything and sometimes when uh, this self-sabotage comes from uh, our belief mm -hmm. what do we believe that we can achieve and if we feel that we we can't achieve it then you're uh, losing them i mean uh, one, uh, a friend of mine um the angkasa one uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Muzaffa mentioned that uh, whatever we can uh, whatever we believe we can achieve and i i know Shem, uh, Shem Muzaffa since um before uh, he went out uh, oh. to, to space, space and uh -huh. I know he's a very positive person and once I asked him before actually going who actually will be going to space and he's, uh, he actually asked, uh, told me that it's going to be him oh. uh, so yeah, he's that because convinced. he's that he convinced really yes, wow. and he's already affirming mm. so you need to have that belief first and I mean look at it this way if you can't believe in yourself I mean you can't hope people other people yep. won't believe won't believe in you so it's true there as in front, hi, I'm yes <laughs> i'm glad i got out of your radar okay <laughs> there you go malaysia if you want to change your habit as irfan kairi said you need to first start start convincing yourself that you can actually do it uh, yeah. either verbally physically and yeah. also mentally and i think uh, it all boils down to uh, what is your purpose in life? Yeah, you know, you getting, must have a purpose. Getting, getting there. I mean, every single dream that you have will be achieved or can be achieved mm -hmm. if you put your mind to it. I think that's what great men always yep. say. Yeah. 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 And All that's right. why we have Irfan here with us. Thank, Thank you, so Irfan. Thanks a lot yes. for a lovely day Thank once again. You. Thank you. Uh, as for you out there, thank you for being with us this morning. Uh, wonderful to have all of you. Zamil and Ani going to be signing off today. See you again tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Peace and out. Bye-bye.